Hey guys, and welcome to my DIY channel. My name is Annalie, and today's video is part of a collab with a bunch of amazing DIY YouTubers, and the theme for this video is to repurpose an old DIY. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, for this project, we are gonna be repurposing this little doozy that I did for Easter. So I think we can all agree that this was not one of my best projects, hence why I'm definitely excited to repurpose this. So we're gonna be taking this apart, sanding. If this is just a sign that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I literally left it just like this, you guys. And then just to spray, to spray, displayed it like this for Easter. So we're gonna get this sanded and ready to go. And then I got these little jars. They're kind of like mason jars in a way, guys. They're supposed to be coin jars, but I'm gonna use them like some mason jars. And I'm pretty excited. So let's get started, guys. So I went ahead and I got everything broken down, taken off, and I got the paint sanded just so that the new layer of paint would stick just a little bit better. Peeled off some of the glue from the edges, some of the old glue from the edges, and then using some spray paint just because it was quick and easy, I went ahead and I gave this three coats of paint. I set that aside, let that dry, and then I went ahead and I used some acetone to remove the print from the outside of these jars. That was tricky, guys. That took some elbow work. I ended up having to sand just a little bit to make sure that I was able to get everything off. I went ahead and I gave the glass jars three coats of paint as well. I set those aside to let those dry and then I wanted to distress them just a little bit to give them some definition. So using the Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, I went ahead and distressed them with some dry brushing technique. And then I did the same thing with the base part of the sign. Just some subtle dry brushing, mostly in the corners, and then just here and there to almost give it some weathered slash chipped enamel look. Then using my cutting machine, I went ahead and I printed off some strawberries, some words, and I went ahead and I got them transferred onto the sign. I put the strawberries on the bottom. And then I put the words on each one of the jars. So I think you guys can see what this project is going to be by now. And I put the words spoons, knives, and forks, one for each jar. And then I found some of this colored string. It's kind of like colored jute twine. I found that at the Dollar Tree and I bought a bunch of colors and I thought that would be really fun for some summer colors. So I used a different color to tie around the top of each one of the jars and then finish it off in a bow. Then using some of this Dollar Tree rope, this nautical rope that you can get from the Dollar Tree, I went ahead and I glued that to the top all the way around the 
what is going to be the base part of this project. And then using some smaller jute twine, I ended up cutting it into three different pieces and I braided it into a handle and tied off each end with a knot. And then I just hot glued it onto each end of the sign to give myself, to give it some handles to hold the entire little tray with. Then it was time to assemble the jars. I ended up using some E6000 and some hot glue together so that I could get it to hold for a longer period of time and for the shorter period of time. And I ended up just assembling my tray all together. And then I decided that it needed something to go with it. Even though this wasn't a repurposed DIY, I wanted something to go alongside with it and I thought that it looked really cute. So there's, these little silver platters, I know you guys have seen a ton of YouTubers use them. They are so cute. You can get them at the Dollar Tree as well. And I just went ahead and I gave this three coats of paint as well. Using the dry brushing technique, I also distressed the edges of this. And then using my cutting machine, I went ahead and I cut out this little lemon sign and then I ended up putting that onto the platter. It got a little tricky there for a minute with the paint coming off from the transfer tape, so I had to get creative, and I literally almost gave up on this entire project because of that, where the paint lifted. I almost just scrapped the entire thing, but I stuck with it, and I'm so glad that I did because I ended up just distressing it with some white chalk paint to fill in where the paint had come off, and it ended up turning out so cute. I love how it turned out, you guys. And here's the finished product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun being a part of this collab. Make sure you check out the rest of the girls down below. Please be sure to check out the playlist down below. There are some amazing girls and I am so lucky that I get to participate in this collab with them. So go check out what they have done as well. Thank you guys. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and consider subscribing if you guys would like to follow along with more videos just like this. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.